Good morning, LMP, and welcome to our 60-second GNN show. In today's show, we will take a look at a local gym to work out at, see who's smarter than a fifth grader, and have another senior spotlight. GNN starts now. Welcome to GNN. I'm Reza Vaziri. Staying active and fit is important for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And these days, there are many gyms that will fit all your needs, including the one at our school. However, another option is the YMCA in Lake Mary. Alex Goldman has more. Having trouble with that New Year's resolution? Well, we've got a solution. The YMCA, your local gym, a place where you can work out, exercise with family, and have a great time. Come on inside. The YMCA is located just 10 minutes away from LMP on Longwood Lake Mary Road. The YMCA is a community-focused, non-profit organization with recreational programs and services for all ages. We caught up with staff member Michael Simmons to learn about why you should join the Y family. Because wellness is a lifestyle and it doesn't come accidentally. You've got to be purposeful. And if you're purposeful, wellness comes your way. At this particular facility, we have a gymnasium in the back. It's a full court gym. Uh, we have a Olympic-sized swimming pool. We have a free weight space, and then we have a controlled weight space uh, that's all kind of connected by cloud, so we can sort of do a virtual phys uh, virtual training, as well as an awesome space for group exercise. Uh, we offer on average about 15 to 20 group exercise courses per day, um, many of them at the same time, everything from cycling to weight training to basic stretching, yoga, uh, and a lot of stuff in between. And then you can't forget the kiddos. We've got an outstanding child development center where kids are able to kind of hang out and work and, and enjoy themselves while mom and dad are out uh, working out and getting, uh, getting in shape. They do have a membership fee for participation, but at the Y, no one is turned away due to inability to pay. Financial assistance is available. The membership application can be found online and turned into the front desk. Member Diane Walsh explains why the Y is perfect for her. Because I feel like it's family friendly. I just, everybody here always says hello, how you doing? I love it. I started out doing the body pump class here and that was great, but I felt like I needed even more to do. And now I'm doing some personal training and I do a spin class. That's also a great thing to do. Thanks for joining us at the Y today. We hope you decide to join our family. See you soon. Seniors are beginning to count down the days to graduation. So for every week until graduation, we will focus on one specific senior to let you know a little more about them before they decide to take that next step to college. Today we take a look at Mumtaz and her success at LMP and on the debate team. Good afternoon, LMP. Today we will be recognizing one of our many successful seniors, Mumtaz Abdul Hussein. I've been at LMP, well, fourth grade, fifth grade, and then I left in sixth grade, and then I came back seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Uh, I'm in NHS Key Club. I do speech and debate. And then when we had Global Society, I was in that. Although undecided about the college she will attend, Mumtaz has many aspirations that she plans to explore. Um, it sort of depends on what college I go to. Uh, a lot of different ones have different programs like philosophy, politics, economics, and then eventually go to law school. Among all of her classes she takes at Lake Mary Prep, her favorite memories took place in AP Calculus. As much as I hate AP Calculus, I guess just making fun of Mr. Harold and Calculus is fun. Don't be afraid to join clubs and I guess take advantage of your high school time. Though Mumtaz participates in many different clubs and sports, she commits much of her time to debate with Mr. Dolan, who has recognized her outstanding work ethic. Mumtaz has been in this program since second semester of seventh grade, so she's pretty familiar with all of the events. And her personal work ethic is to continue to revise things literally all year. Um, she's in an event primarily called Original Oratory where you write a speech about something that you personally feel strongly about. 
But then as a result of every competition, she's back revising a little, changing, depending on judges' suggestion. We wish Mumtaz the best of luck in college and all of her future endeavors. For GNN, I'm Natalie Panzo, signing off for Jake Romney. Stay tuned for more GNN. But first, these messages. Olympiad is a club that tests your skills in all types of science, showcasing tons of different and creative competitions. There are over 7,600 teams in just the U.S., and ours was created by sophomore Asia Nunez. Events can range from making a hovercraft to ecology. Different divisions are for different grade levels, Division B for middle school, meanwhile Division C for high school. Each division has their own competitions. If you want to learn more about the club, go to scienceolympiad.com. If you do plan on joining the Science Olympiad Club, go talk to the leader of the club, Asia. What geologic era are we in right now? <gasps> um, Homo sapiens. <laughs> um, the modern era. What Scottish scientist discovered penicillin in 1928? Uh, probably that one Scottish guy that found it in 1928. Mr. Niven, J.K. Alexander Fleming. Amoxicillin. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. Typical people have how many baby teeth as a kid? 32? 20? Cyrus, who founded Maryland in 1632? Ooh, um, Roger Sherman. Um, Thomas, Sir Thomas. What year did the Pilgrims settle in the New World? 1620. 1492, Mitch. 1619. And what is the first name of former U.S. President Taylor? Oh, uh, Jackson Taylor. What is greater, two fifths or three eighths? Three eighths. I'm gonna go with two fifths. Austin, what is 56 times 99? No. 
Can't use the calculator. Five thousand five hundred and forty-four. Too big a number for me to comprehend. If a fraction has a denominator of five, what must the numerator be to make it a unit fraction? What is a unit fraction? What is 36% of 40? Nine. 12. What is the largest volcano in the world? Um, the one in Chile. Moana Loa in Hawaii. Brady, where are the Great Plains of the U.S.? North Dakota. I'm going to have to go with Montana. Which city is the only city in the world situated on two continents? It's two continents. I got um, Vatican City. Turkey. What city? Istanbul. St. Petersburg? Every week, the classes of TV productions put together GNN. But each show, there is always one student behind the decisions that are made and the places each segment goes, including this one. So he put himself at the end. Alec has more. Behind every GNN episode, there's a Tuan working hard to make it great. Behind Tuan and in front of me right now, there's a Peter with a camera. Let's take a look at this week's Senior Spotlight. I was never in TV production. Before I joined GNN, I used to use my, a different program called Magix. I used to watch a lot of YouTube video, and whenever I see a cool effect they have in the video, I would go on YouTube and search on how to do it on different programs. Uh, the longest one took me around two hours to make, and it was an animation of, it was a prom teaser, and I had to animate a rose petal falling, and that took a while. It's so hard because I have to somehow simulate how to Rose petal gonna fall based on, like basically just figure out the physics by itself. Other program that I have simulation, which I don't have access to, so I have to indu uh, keyframing individual frames, individual point, and even the rotation of the petals, and that's what took me so long. But Tuan isn't always hard at work. He manages to find time to be unproductive just like the rest of us, whether it's through browsing social media or playing mini golf on Mr. Galena's desk. I consider it to be fun because it's actually one of my hobbies to make videos. I used to make videos and put on YouTube, but no, uh, I'm not going to mention that anymore. Usually on Wednesday, I would put GNN together, which is probably what I'm doing right now. This is Tuan Long, signing off for... This is Alec Fortin signing off for GNN. That's our show for today. Tune in next week for our spring break show. I'm Reza Vaziri, signing off of GNN. Have a great day and stay classy, LMP.